and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGUSCV. Today I'll be particularly talking about how we can read large images asynchronously in uh, Windows Forms application using EMGUSCV. Let's get started. I have already created a project and configured it to use EMGUSCV. Uh, if you don't know how to configure it, you can check one of my previous videos. Let me create a new form right click on the project go to aid and uh, windows forms give give it a name uh, as you want i'll keep as it is and i want uh, this form to be the first form that should be displayed so i'll go to programs and i'll just make it form 2 and uh, save it what i need to do is uh, i want to create a menu over here and uh, read a large image and uh, display it using picture box so drag and drop a menu item call it open uh, call it a file and then open sync it is uh, synchronously i mean it is normally that we will read it and then uh, a sync we will see the difference between these two and uh, first i need to drag and drop a control panel and uh, let me make it a bit smaller control panel and from here i need to make the auto scroll true and then i'll drag and drop a picture box on top of this and i also need to go and make the size mode to auto size so that it will auto size itself to display the picture inside it so first let me go and uh, synchronously load the large image normally that we do and then uh, let's see what happens let me create uh, first let me add emgucv over there and also emgucv.cv.structure and uh, let me create an image of variable on to read a bgr image bgra and take it byte and call it img input so on this open sync event i'll put a try catch block and what i need to do is ask the user to select the image that he wants to open so i would say open file dialog open file dialog is equal to open file dialog and i would like to ask the user to select only the tiff images let's say select tiff and then you provide this bar and a star star dot tiff this is the format how we provide it and now i'll show the dialog to the user and if he selects something then the and dialog should return okay and now i am going to read img input is equal to new img input and provide the file path dot file name so simple and uh, then i display that one in picture box one dot picture uh, image equals to img input dot bitmap so let me hit run and check it so file open a sync uh, there is a folder that contains images tree data and then trees and tree examples 
let me say this image now if you notice it is no more interactive I cannot do anything with this form so now once it uploads it then I, I am able to interact with this so this is a very pretty pretty large image so you can see this uh, again I'll show you what is the main problem I clicked it now I cannot interact with my um, user interface so that is the main problem of synchronously reading large images we are unable to interact with the the, uh, the graphical user interface so that's why I'll show you how we can use the for example now it is loaded right like this so uh, let me show you how we can do this asynchronously so to do that I'll click on open async and uh, to asynchronously uh, read an image we need to use the background worker I'll use the background uh, worker so I'll do the same logic over here that I have done it just I'll copy and paste it but this reading operation will be performed somewhere else so what I need to do here is let us create inside this file dialog once it selects an image uh, this part is very important so let me create a background worker background worker is equal to new background worker the background worker class has the ability to perform some actions asynchronously on a separate thread than the uh, graphical user interface thread so that it will not be disturbed the graphical user interface thread will uh, continue working on other things and the background worker will create another thread and it will load the image in that thread without affecting the graphical user interface so to do that I'll create the background worker object and then I'll uh, assign some properties for example report a worker report progress is equal to false I don't want to report it so after defining these two properties let me define the events for background worker dot do work event equals tip tape so I have created an event for do work and I need to create another event dot mm, completed run worker completed event what are these two let me describe what I want to actually do right now is we have defined these properties and these are the events for doing some work that in my case I am going to read the image this will call the BW underscore work event so ideally we should read this image inside this do work event that's what we want and once our work is completed okay I'll settle that once our uh, event is completed I want to display it in my picture box that's it and what is the advantage of doing this is my GUI will remain interactive so let me do one more thing I want the string uh, image path equals equals null I just set it a null string and from here when I uh, using the mm, show dialog I'll select the path and assign it over here so that open file dialog dot file name that's fine and here I can say that read this file 
image path and then that's it and then we would like to say background worker dot run uh, worker async let's run this application and see what is going to happen go to file now open async select the same image now you can see it is still interactive and then it read this and it displayed to the yeah. the difference between these two is that for example if I select another image like this it doesn't remain interactive you can see that I cannot do any sort of action on this so this is not the desirable thing that we want as a software engineer or anything and then I if, if I read asynchronously same image now still I can do interaction with the previous image and then you can see so that is the advantage of using uh, reading the images asynchronously so I created a background worker and then I allowed this background worker uh, two events are defined the BW do work and the run worker completed this do work event is called to perform this work in the background without uh, on a separate thread without disturbing the GUI and once it is completed this event will be uh, called since I know that the image has been read and then I assign that one into the image box one dot image property it is a simple tutorial just since I was working on a project uh, which had this problem so I wanted to share it with you and I hope to see you in the next video